Hello and welcome to the ANA dashboard tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to use the ANA manufacturability analysis software to analyze four different iterations of the design of a clevis mount as shown on your screen. As the part progressed through each iteration, more features were added and the part generally became more complex. So to start, we're going to go ahead and click on the ANA dashboard icon to open the launch screen. On this window, we can open an existing project or we can go ahead and start a new ANA project. We're just going to use the default name here. When we create an ANA project, it's going to create a .ANA file, which is essentially a database which will keep track of all your manufacturability analyses for all the parts that you an analyze. We're going to start by adding the first iteration of our design. An ANA takes input in the form of a STEP file. A STEP file is a universal feature-based format, and you can export to a STEP file for most CAD packages. You can change the label of the iteration. It, by default, it will be taken from the file name. And you can also add additional notes. Once you add the design, the software is going to parse the CAD file and prepare it for analysis. Now we see that first iteration has showed up in our list view. And now we can select which manufacturing processes we want to analyze. We're going to go ahead and run machining and sand casting. The progress bar will indicate that an analysis is currently in process. Behind the scenes, Anna is sending over the CAD file to the analysis modules, which will perform the analysis. And when they're finished, they will return the results back to the Anna dashboard, and a green checkbox will be shown here. Now that the analysis is complete, we can click on the results tab to see the manufacturability results. On the results screen, there are four windows, one for each metric for each process. You can interact with the windows like you would a regular CAD package, scrolling, panning, and zooming around. You can also hit full screen to see the part in more detail. You can click the learn more button to read a short tutorial about each manufacturability metric. You can use the combo box at the top to switch between manufacturing processes. And you'll notice that here the sand casting results are displayed. You can also unsync the rotation if you want to pan around with a single model. Okay, now let's assume that we've created a few more iterations of the part. We're going to go ahead and add the changes that we've made to the design. I'm going to go ahead and add three iterations at once. ANA allows you to analyze multiple iterations at once. You can click this button at the top to check all iterations and click Analyze, and that will kick off the analysis. Now that the analysis is complete, we can jump to the results to see the scores. If we want to scroll through the iterations, we can use this control at the top of the screen. And if we want to get a high-level overview of what's going on in our design, we can click on the Trends tab. On this page, you can see the overview of the design at different iterations. And you can also see a graph tracking the manufacturability scores for each of the manufacturing processes. Right now, we only have machining except for that first sand cast iteration we analyzed. If you scroll down, you can get a closer look into the individual metrics. In this case, we see visibility tends to decrease as our part becomes more complex. It's also noticeable that the setup complexity dropped from iteration 3 to 4. If we want to see exactly what happened in that change, we can click on the Compare tab to directly compare two iterations. So I'm going to select the third iteration and the fourth, and a side-by-side -side metric comparison appears right here. We can click on an individual metric to see the results for that particular metric. And so we see here this third orientation was added when we went from iteration 3 to 4. Further inspection reveals a new feature that was added that's going to require an additional machining setup for traditional 3-axis machining. In this case, you can export a 3D PDF report of the results. Click on File, Export, Export Individual Module Results to create the 3D PDF. We're going to select Machining. We want to show this last iteration here. 
When we hit export, it'll prompt us for save file location. All right, now that the PDF has been generated, we can go ahead and open that up. And we see this PDF contains the same analysis results that were visible in the ANA software. I also want to mention that there is the ability to customize the analysis settings. Some analysis modules take parameters as inputs to the analysis. So in, for example, in machining, if one of the parameters is the maximum tool length, and if you know that your machine setup has a longer tool or has the capability for a longer tool, you can go ahead and change that number here and update the analysis to customize ANA for your specific machining. Lastly, there's an online survey and we would encourage everybody to provide feedback using this link. You can also email the development team or if you have any bugs, please click this button. This concludes the Anna tutorial video. Thank you for watching.